One of those wicked missions I'm having here on the channel is to find the weirdest stuff out there when it comes to retro gaming systems. And oh boy, they made a lot of weird ones. And it's one of my missions just to pick them up or buy these things and just actually see how good or actually how bad these are. Rip them apart and just do a quick peek in the inside and have like a good laugh because some of these things are so pretty damn bad. That is just freaking laughable. <laughs> okay, so let's take a close look inside. So this is a plug and play device. I'm guessing there will not come including a power supply or there is maybe not even a power supply at all because it's basically a plug and play device. Okay, so the controllers are two of them. They are very lightweighted. The buttons are like really horrible. Oh man, these like very long sticky uh, selective start oh my i think you cannot even see it on the freaking camera because they're all dust and they are looking really filthy but the thing is like isn't this a gamecube connection what the hell is going on it seems to be that there are only four pins in total on the inside then we're going to get the system itself and this thing looks kind of weird i must say that they ripped it off or something hm, don't know and then we're going to get the three discs so we're going to get three different sizes what a weird thing so here it says let's zoom in a little bit it says here fun click box world so this is the first collection nine then we're going to get the, the second but this my 20 games and then we have the largest collection this one has 30 games but i noticed one thing this is not the disc like it's a freaking lie but how about the, this system what the hell is going on here videos I always wanted to do a rip and tear or just tear though but sometimes I can because you can't get it open but this time that will not be an issue at all I already removed the batteries the only thing I needed to do is remove a couple of these screws so I can open it up and just flip it over because I am so curious how is this thing looking in the inside it's just a shame there is no disk drive inside that would be like very cool I know like there are at least these portable devices that have actually like a DVD play inside and also play NES games. I don't know if you have seen those. It was kind of a weird situation. Okay, so let's see you can just click it open. Oh crap, I'm forgetting one screw. The, the last one, number six. Oh yeah. Alright, here we go. Okay, do I already have parts falling out? Oh boy, this is really funny. So, this is the cable. It's straight soldered on the PCB over there with some freaking hot glue madness. This has been connected to the switches, lower like the disk drive that communicates which menu to boot up. Now, under PCB is over there. What you're going to get is like the switches for resetting and on and off. Over here, the battery compartment that goes straight in here, and this is the main board itself. Sadly, there's two black blobs like always, so we can see what kind of chip they're using. A little bit of a bummer, in my opinion. And so far, I can see there is no date when it is produced, because it's always fun to see when these things have been created. But then again, I reviewed these weird devices just to see how does it look on the inside. And when are they made? Like, how many of these freaking weird things have they created? Because in the last couple of years, I'm keep finding new ones, and not like only from AliExpress, but like new ones that they created even in the 90s, early 2000s. It's, qu it's quite interesting, especially when it comes to this disk drive system with the three buttons. I find it still very genius, but also very cheap. Saying we have a disk drive, or it works with disk, yeah, it works with disk. But not like a real actually <laughs> disk drive with an optical laser in it. But the thing with the disk drive. Here is going to get really bad and wicked. So over here you can see three dots. So I'm guessing when you're putting in a disk like this. And you close it. The only thing that it basically does is like. Touching one button. Or two or three. Depending of course of the disk itself. So yeah, folks, that's the thing that it is. There is no disk drive, whatever. It's just like kind of genius, but a weird system to load up the games. <laughs> I bought this product secondhand. I can smell it. Like, like the chemical smell you have normally with these systems, but 
I could smell going in, in home where they are smoked a lot, you know? Really horrible. Oh, a little bit of a corrosive over here. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm hoping the batteries will work. We're going to put a couple of them in and hoping we still have contact. Otherwise, I need to clean it up to get it working. This is just an, oh man, this is always the same problem every single time with these freaking devices. And of course, there was no cable. Oh, I'm happy that I'm always having to have some spare cables laying around. So let's plug it in. Holy crap, that sounds really bad. Now let's see if this bloody thing even works. Otherwise, we're quickly done making this video. Okay, well, let's do this, connect this, and we're ready to go, and let's power on. First control didn't even work. We're having here fun block, box world. Oh, this really authentic sound from multi-cars back in the 80s, 90s. <sighs> okay, let's change disc later on. Let's try some games first. Okay, fun click. What the hell? Oh, okay, I'm guessing this is like a puzzle game. How do we ch switch our things? Oh, we just need to click on it. Oh, that's it. That's it, that's the only thing to do. Like, pressing the button, combine the items. That's it. Okay, let's press the reset. And let's see what we're going to get more. Let's try burger build. All right, let's see. Oh no, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. They didn't rip off something like this. <laughs> oh yeah, they are naughty. They're just ripping off games. So I'm just curious what kind of games we're going to find more. Okay, so let's test out the disk drive. I didn't put in any game in it. So let's see what happens when we're just powering it on. Okay, nothing happens. When we're holding this button. We're going to see the nine. Nothing happens. Let's get. It. I'm guessing I need to yeah, use the two buttons. And otherwise, with three, we're going to get the other disc. So basically, that is how it works. And this doesn't do anything. If there is no disc in it, it will not work. <laughs> oh, that beeping song or song tune is really annoying. See, I had a brain fart over there. <laughs> this is really bad. If I'm going to make a top 5 or top 10 of weirdest device I've reviewed here on the channel, this thing will be in it. Absolutely. Because the way how they made this is like a plug and play device, but you wouldn't really expect that it's going to be a plug and play device at all. It comes with two controllers that are absolutely horrible, but I think the construction is quite genius with the tiny buttons that the disc basically presses and activates a certain kind of menu. The games are ripped off from Burger King or Mappy. But yeah, I don't know exactly who it was marketed for, but when and how. This is something that would be interesting maybe to talk about in a future video. But for now, it's just an 8-bit knockoff system. Thanks for watching, and it would be great to see you in the next video. So hit that little bell and subscribe. Yeah.